OK, welcome back. And here's another synoptic short focusing this time on the micro macro consequences of the widespread adoption of robotics and artificial intelligence. One of the most topical issues of the day. It has tremendous synoptic potential. So crucially, of course, synopticity think is about thinking of micro aspects and macroeconomic aspects. Could be influences on, effects of, or policies. But in this case, we're going to focus on the consequences of the, the fast adoption of robotics and artificial intelligence. So much we could talk about. Here are three micro points. One would be to focus on the effect on the productivity, the costs, and the profits of firms and industries that are operating at the cutting edge. All kinds of businesses, from businesses such as Amazon, all the way through to perhaps even financial service businesses using machine learning and artificial intelligence. Another micro effect could be to think about the labour market consequences, the impact on the demand for and the supply of labour, in particular jobs affected by robotics and the consequences for the, the wages and the earnings available. Uh, so, for example, routine less paid work has been and remains very susceptible to automation. Uh, robotics, so even though they're taking over Wall Street, I'm hearing, there's lots of financial analysts are being replaced with software or so-called robo-advisors. Who knows how many jobs are at high risk of being automated in the next 10, 15, 20 years. But equally, there might be some other jobs created, of course. Think app designers, think software engineers, for example. So lots of scope for using the labour market as part of your synoptic analysis and evaluation. And, of course, if you focus on individual consumers, on their welfare, that will be micro. So the consequences of robotics for price of goods and services, their people's real disposable incomes, and also, crucially, of course, their economic well-being. Are we too often glued to the screen? Does that affect, our, uh, does that affect social uh, aspects of economics as well as economics? What about the macroeconomic effects? Well, the macro effects can be widened out to discuss the bigger effects on jobs, on unemployment. Will we get structural unemployment from extensive capital labour substitution? Or will technology create even more and better jobs than we've had before? Some of them, of course, in new sectors associated with these industries. What about the consequences for a country's competitiveness? and their exports and potential changing patterns of trade. So, for example, countries that develop scaled comparative advantage in robotic technologies, able to license the technology or, or export the robotics themselves. All kinds of things you could talk about there in terms of comparative advantage. And what about the long term consequences of robotics and AI for the government, for the government finances? What happens, for example, if there are fewer people in work where is the government going to get the tax revenue from, from digital businesses or businesses relying heavily on robotic technologies? So any focus on government money, government finances, would be a great macroeconomic point to bring into your synoptic essay. And loads of potential for good analysis diagrams to help support the point you're making on the micro side. Cost and revenue curve analysis, labour market demand and supply will be absolutely fine. Great, great opportunities there. On the macro side, perhaps a comparative advantage diagram or even bringing into play aggregate demand and long and aggregate supply. Either way, think about in your synoptic papers this year, think about how you can use a good analysis diagram to support your answer.